Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter. And because of Unity's New Year sale is now on, I thought I would take five different assets from the Unity Asset Store and show you around and see if there's some packs that would be good for you. I'll show you the, the FPS framework, the Surrounded Bundle, which is a 3D asset bundle, the Crest Water 5, URP Visual Effects Ultra Bundle, and the Enviro 3 Sky and Weather. And do be sure to check out Unity's New Year sale, and it has got actually over 1,500 assets, up to 60% off. And you can also get an additional 10% off if you spend $120 or more if you use the code NYS24 at checkout. And it runs all the way up to the 10th of January. So first of all, we're going to look at the Crest Water System 5, which is a really new release. I'm using Unity 6 URP for all of these assets. And I'll let you know if any of them change. So I'm just going to hit download and it's not a big download for this. And the improvements over version 4 to 5 is it supports all pipelines in one package that re-architectured the entire system for supreme performance and scalability and many more improvements and features. And you can check out my video on the previous version of Crest Water System and there's even a free version for the built-in pipeline and I go through all the features in there. And then once you've imported that into your project, you will notice that it comes as a package file. And if you're confused, you can click on the packages tab on there and in the top corner, you can say view in package manager and when you do that, it will take you to the packages Wave Harmonic and Crest and then you can get different things like the samples, the main examples, wakes and boats. Once you've imported all those, I've just opened up the examples and the example scene and then you can press play and you get the different examples that you can cycle through so you can see albedo, the wake, you can see complex objects that interact with the water, you can see dynamic water interaction, surface clipping, you can see different patches of water, you can put in between, scales of the water, you can override it for different parts that are masked off. You can have other things and other objects which float around, different foam overrides. You could check out the main scene here and the customizations that you have. And you can see you've got underwater effects that when we go up and down, you've got shoreline foam and different acoustics when you see them underwater, various foam as you go out and you can adjust functionality and shore distance and waves throughout the package by selecting the water system. And you can look at general, environment, surface renderer, you can do a level of details, you can do the simulations, the reflections, and do a whole heap of customizability. Now we're going to look at the Surrounded Bundle, which is a bunch of stylistic assets that might be really cool for you creating a survival zombie game, something like that, and various different styles. If you do grab this bundle, you can then add each of the following packs to your cart in Unity, and you'll see that they're listed as free and you can open those up individually in Unity to import those assets. So I'd recommend importing the survival assets first, and then you can import other things after it because some of them do require the survival assets game pack. And once you get it, you get the surrounded bundle pack. It does come with its own documentation, but you've got various different scenes which you've got because this comes with over 600 assets in just at this package with buildings, interiors and stuff like that. You can check out the documentation folder and you will get the surrounded URP. Now you want to open that selection to be able to open that folder. They have loads of cute little dioramas, little scenes which you can navigate through. So in this case, you've got the barn UFO, you've got the barn, you've got the cabin, you've got the camp, You've got the big city scene, gas station, house one, the multiple houses set, the entire neighborhood, the old gas station, and even things when you import the other packs. And then you can even check out some of their mini demos with the items and the assets in here. You do have a small city sample that you can move around in and have a look with destroyed buildings cars and other various tools and even nice assets like a whole neighborhood and something in this style. Now we're going to take a look at the FPS framework pack which you can import into Unity and it has various features including a modular character controller, it's got a respawn system, advanced audio system, complete spray patterns, different weapons, modular attachments, gamepad support, all support for the new input system and an advanced settings menu too. The developer does say that this requires the project settings needed to be included. So when you press next from importing assets, it will override your default player settings. So be very careful with that if you're in a working project, because this should be imported into a brand new fresh project to make sure everything works correctly. Once you've imported this asset in, you can see that the weapon, you've got reload animations, you've got moving, sprinting, 
jumping, everything like that. You've got aiming and aiming down sights. You've got hit markers. You can show how many kills you've actually got at any one time. You've got explosions and different things. You've got various secondary weapons like pistols. And I've got a thing like a grenade so we can throw that. And you can see the hit markers, the explosions. We've got various different weapons we can take with various different attachments and button presses and stuff that we can use. And even a shotgun for good measure with reloading. This does come with its own pause menu so you can have attachment selection. So you can choose what sort of stock or anything that you want on it. So you can put different attachments and custom things on each of your weapons if you add that yourself. You've got an entire settings menu for sensitivity, video settings and stuff already built in. You can navigate to the menu as well, which has got also the settings which you can use across your game environment. You could check out the game managers, which have slow motion and the spawn managers and other things within there. You can set spawn points and you can take a look at the player character, which has got full customization for the first person player, a health system, different things for character inputs. And you've got various other custom movements, including a camera shake, FOV kick, leans, head bobs, and that feedback that you feel within the FPS system. I'm going to take a look at Enviro 3 Sky and Weather, which is supported across all pipelines because it has dynamic skies. You can customize the lighting. You can add alt volumetric clouds. You can have volumetric fog and lighting. It's got a full integrated weather system. It's got virtual reality support and loads and loads of simulations for 2D clouds, seasons, temperatures, wetness particles and so many more you can download this one and it's around 200 megabytes and you can import into unity i wanted to show you how to use the enviro weather in your own scene i've got one of the surrounded assets which i didn't show off and i've just dragged the enviro 3 prefab into the scene and you've got lots of different customization settings on the right but you can see here in setup you need to make sure that you drag your main camera in here and you activate for whichever pipeline that you want to use. So make sure to activate for URP if that's what you're using. You need to make sure to go to Edit Project Settings. Make sure you find your default renderer. This one just has the PC asset. You can double click that and make sure you have depth textures enabled. Then you click on your renderer list, which is the renderer that you're using. And you make sure that you add a new render feature called an Enviro URP render feature. Now, when you select Enviro 3, You've got loads, you've got hundreds and hundreds of settings to control the time of day, fog, volumetric lights. You can actually choose different presets. And this one I just chose storm. We could choose clear sky. You could choose cloudy one, cloudy two, foggy, all of these. But I like the storm one and maybe suits this scene more. We can adjust all the effects in there, even things like the fog. So you can adjust the fog density so to make it thicker. You can change the fall off for the distance and you can change the fog height. So if you don't want it to appear quite as, uh, you know, if you want it to be a really, really foggy day to be able to affect that. You've got the things like the volumetric clouds so you can adjust the coverage of those clouds with if you look to where this sun is in this corner, you can see it will become more or less visible with that coverage. So now when we play around in our scene, because this is the storm preset, we've got the fog in our scene some of the volumetrics and we've got the particle systems. And if you did have a audio source or something like that, within the scene, you'd be able to hear those sound effects along with it. But I just wanted to show you that you can just drag this into this scene and be able to use it nice and easily. Now we're gonna take a quick look at VFX and their URP Ultimate Bundle. This come with all these different visual effects, anime, flipbook, item pickup, level up, loot box, smoke bombs, stylized visual effects, and the fire visual effects too. And when you've imported these into URP project, say we take a look at the demo for the anime effects, you can just click on these and cycle through all these different effects that are through in the inspector. We can look at all the level up style effects and you can adjust colors and outline colors and whether you want to add the ground or not add the ground and you can choose to add the arrow or not. And the last one I'll look at is the item pickup effect. So you can have a look at the rarity of something if you want them to make it rarer each time you do it until you get to the end with a super rare item. I do hope a quick look at all these assets was useful to you and you'll find some assets on Unity's New Year sale and can help you make some really awesome games. Let me know if you'd like to look at any assets more detailed in the future. Be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects. You cannot find anywhere else. Massive thank you to Peter Steiner, Vera Shuther, Jennifer and David for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget 
to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.